Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to set the default GPU for your iCron 7.9. The default GPU means if you have a computer, you have a PC in Windows 10, and you already have a few GPU, I will show you right. Right click here, you check the task manager. Once you, ch you check your task manager, you click the performance. You may find that you have two GPU sometimes. For example, now I have an Intel HD graphic. This is the inter integrated GPU in my processor, in my CPU. And another one is a dedicated GPU, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 9550M. So actually, when you run a 3D software, when you run the iClone 7, sometimes by default, it will choose the choose the weak GPU that you don't want. You want the strong GPU, the dedicated that you purchase, most probably. So how to set it as a default GPU for your iClon 7? Just for example, you need to set the graphic setting. You, you have to type here graphic setting. You type the graphic enough, don't type the setting. When you type the graphic here, you see the graphic setting, just have a click Go into the graphic setting, and here you have to browse. Browse your icon 7. It is at your C, program file, Revolution, icon 7. It is under the bin 64 folder. You drag it down, you should be able to see your icons here. You double click it. Once you set it already, you can see by default, it will let the window decide. So sometimes the window may make the mistake to choose choose a power saving mode, the GPU. That is an Intel HD graphic. This is the that this this is the integrated GPU that we don't want. So we manually choose it as the high performance. Once you choose that already, then click save. After that, you already make sure that the iClone 7 will run with the high performance GPU that you choose, that is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX. For example, in this computer, the strongest GPU is the dedicated one, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950M. This is the way how to change how to set the default GPU for iClone 7. You fix it properly, and next time when you run the iClone 7, then it will automatically choose a, the correct GPU. All right, so now I, I try to run run the iClone 7 and have a look. Just check it which GPU it is going to use. You look at the integrated graphic, it is using just because of the whole window, tents, all the graphics, it automatic by default, it will use the HD graphic, it include your monitor, etc. And then the NVIDIA GeForce you have to reserve just for your 3D software. And now we have a test, we we'll wait until the iClone is loaded. All right, now this is icon 7. Now you can see it is loaded into icon 7. And you always check your GPU. Now you can see it is running the GPU, the NVIDIA. Once I check the, the icon 7, now it is utilizing, you see, it is utilizing the GPU of NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950M. Let's say now if I drag in some of the scenes or Avatar, for example, put in some CC avatar, Natalie, and later I'm going to rotate the, the camera, rotate the screen, and I'm going to check how well the status of the GPU is running. You can see, now this is the GPU, let's say, if now I just rotate it, it, it is utilizing the GPU. Okay, now I magnify it to make sure it is full of full of the, the real-time rendering. Now we just have a look. Look at the GPU. Yes, it is utilizing my dedicated GPU, NVIDIA GeForce. After I already make sure I select the correct GPU in my graphics setting. All right, that's all for today about how to how to select the default GPU to run for iClone 7.9. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.
If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all, so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!